To assess for the main symptom of diarrhea, ask... Does the child have diarrhea? If the mother says yes, assess the child further. Ask... For how long? The number of days determines whether the child has persistent diarrhea. Next, ask... Is there blood in the stool? Blood in the stool is a sign of dysentery. Then every child with diarrhea is assessed for signs of dehydration. To assess a child for dehydration, look at the child's general condition. Decide, is the child lethargic or unconscious? Is the child restless and irritable? You will now see examples of these signs. This child is very ill. His general condition could be described as unconscious. This child's condition could best be described as restless and irritable. This child appears well and alert. He is attentive and interested in what is going on around him. He is not lethargic. He is not restless or irritable. Look at the child's eyes. This child's eyes are definitely sunken. This child has eyes which are sunken. If you're not sure if a child's eyes are sunken, you should ask the mother whether the child's eyes look unusual to her. This child's eyes appear normal. They are not sunken. Offer the child fluid. Is the child not able to drink or drinking poorly? Is he drinking eagerly, thirsty, or does he drink normally? This child is not able to drink at all. This child is obviously thirsty and drinks eagerly. Often the thirsty child grabs for the spoon or cup. This child is drinking normally. He is not thirsty. Pinch the skin of the abdomen. Does it go back very slowly, taking longer than two seconds? Does it go back slowly, or does it go back immediately? To pinch the skin of the abdomen, ask the mother to place the child on the examination table, or ask her to hold the child so he's lying flat on her lap. Locate the area on the child's abdomen halfway between the umbilicus and the side of the abdomen. Place the thumb and first finger on the skin of the abdomen so that when you pinch the skin, the fold of the skin will be in a line up and down the child's body and not across the child's body. Firmly pick up the skin and some fat beneath the skin. Pinch the skin for one second and then release it by separating your thumb and first finger. When you release the skin, look to see if the skin pinch goes back very slowly, taking longer than two seconds, slowly or immediately. This child's skin goes back very slowly taking longer than two seconds. 
With this child, the skin goes back slowly, in less than two seconds. With this child, the skin pinch goes back immediately. To correctly assess dehydration, consider each of these signs and use them to classify the child as having severe dehydration, some dehydration, or no dehydration. Now, let's assess this child with diarrhea. The mother has told us this child has diarrhea. For how long? She replies, for three days. Is there blood in the stool? There is no blood in the stool. His general condition could be described as restless and irritable if the child remains like this throughout the assessment. His eyes appear sunken. When offered a drink, he drinks eagerly. He is clearly very thirsty. When his skin is pinched, it goes back into place slowly. Now, let's see how the child's signs relate to the classification chart. Start with the top pink row. He is not lethargic or unconscious. His eyes are sunken. He does not have the sign not able to drink or drinking poorly. His skin pinch does not go back very slowly. To classify the child as severely dehydrated requires two signs in this row. This child has only one. So we move down to the middle row. Does the child have two or more of the signs needed to classify him as having some dehydration? His general condition is restless and irritable. His eyes are sunken. He is thirsty and drinks eagerly. His skin went back slowly. This child has more than two signs of some dehydration. Therefore, this child is classified as diarrhea with some dehydration. He does not have persistent diarrhea or dysentery.